Swiss Rush Island belongs to NCC. It was given to them by BC Packers, and uh, their goal is to return it to a completely natural setting. It's a small but very well protected area of complete biological diversity within a very busy urban area. Vancouver's the largest city in BC. I think Richmond on the other side of it is something like the second or third largest city in BC. The airport, of course, is only a, a kilometer away from us. In the 1940s or 50s, when they dredged the arms of the Fraser to make them viable for commercial shipping channels, they dumped the dredgings on top of what was then basically a swamp, really. So now we have three islands. So right now we're standing on an island called Lulo Island, a big island on which the city of Richmond is. The uh, Vancouver International Airport, the third largest airport in Canada, and it's also on an island. It's called Sea Island, and in between the island we're on and Sea Island is another island on which that tree is standing that's called Swishwash. I'm a retired orthopedic surgeon who's always been very outdoors oriented. I noticed in the NCC brochure one time that this particular island had been given to them and I contacted them and said who's going to look after that for you and they said well we don't have anybody yet but if you'd like to you can be the steward of the island and uh, I think something like eight or nine years later here I am. As a lad, I did a lot of outdoors uh, hunting and that sort of thing, fishing, and so I've been a very active outdoors person all my life. And uh, this gives me a great opportunity. I put my kayak in, paddle over to the island, walk around the island. Nobody's to bother me, nobody to tell me what to do. I'm my own boss, and uh, into the bargain I help NCC by trying to get rid of the non-native species which are there. And the two main ones are Scottish broom and Himalayan blackberries. So I'll uh, show you some of my favorite spots. This uh, hole in the ground is actually, I'm quite sure, a coyote den or at least some coyote diggings. I see tracks around it all the time and I see coyote droppings. My understanding is that they swim over at night and probably even raised a family here. The principal species that the island is important for are salmon, of course. Uh, the marshy part of the island serves as an excellent spot for the immature salmon to spend time acclimatizing themselves to the salt water, which is essential for their life cycle. Then we have the bird life. About uh, 40,000 snow geese will arrive from the Arctic, and they'll stay here, many of them, over winter in an area around here, along with, I'm sure, thousands of Canada geese and ducks and all sorts of uh, migratory wildfowl. Of the uh, many ecological societies which exist today, which I'm very well aware of, I enjoy Nature Conservancy of Canada, I think, the most because they specifically take bits of land and completely try to return them back to their natural habitat. And I think that's marvelous. I don't know that I have very much to say to the rest of the people of the world and how to behave to, to maintain our natural environment, but having enjoyed it all my life, I guess I would um, It'd be very sad to think if my granddaughter uh, couldn't enjoy the same thing that I do. I guess I'd just like to thank Nature Conservancy for giving me my island.